Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. What we do around here is bring about conversations of a psychological, mental health, and emotional and coaching related paradigm. We do that as often as we can, usually several times per week. We make something happen for your listening pleasure. And uh, this is our Life Lesson Series. The Life Lesson Series is almost 300 deep. This is 285. In the Life Lesson Series, the idea behind it simply is just to give you something to look at that's meaningful to you that gives you the ability to continue to connect in a meaningful way so that you can get um, to the best point of your life and get the best out of your life. So there are basic things to look at. If you're looking for what life may be trying to teach you and you're looking for coaching through that, please feel free to reach out at PO Perception on Twitter and or in the About Me section of the YouTube page. Either way, we'll give you something that is valuable, at least we hope. Um, so the first thing is master your mind. Know what your strengths and weaknesses of mind are. Realize that your mind is the thing that you have to control most. And if you can control your mind, the rest of you will go in a positive direction sooner or later. And so controlling your mind is understanding that you do have weaknesses, you do have strengths, you do have the ability to reset the focus of your mind at any given moment. Understanding how to reset your mind is a valuable tool because at the end of the day, when you do this, you are reusing and retooling and repurposing your time in a proper and progressive manner at any given moment. The ability to shift is important. The more fixed we are in the way that we believe the world should be, the more we're going to frustrate ourselves and become frustrated with the way that other people are ultimately behaving and or not behaving in the way we prefer find joy and peace and serenity in all things so even when things aren't going the way we planned we can still find joy and peace and serenity in the things that matter to us and also in the things that we wish were happening differently now that doesn't necessarily mean that you know something like a tragedy has to be joyful but at the same time find the joy in the relationship we had prior to the tragedy or Find the joy in the things that we got to do with the person before something negative happened. Or find the joy in the people that are supporting us through hardship. I know that's an extreme example, but it's valuable because when we begin to see that all things can have joy in them and we can expand towards searching for that rather than grieving loss continually. Not that grief doesn't have its place, but it is a, a place where we can determine how much energy, how much time, how much focus we give to our grief process. It's important there. Again, focus on happiness, focus on, on value, focus on the understanding of what it is to know for sure that things come in a positive, progressive, and meaningful way. Um, we can redefine what happiness means. We can also find things to be happy about in any given moment if we are focused on doing so in a continual level. And knowing that we can do that is important. Having the ability to use the, the, the advantage of perspective and the advantage of perception to our own benefit is also valuable. When we know that having a perspective shift in a positive way is a good thing, we can also then begin to see that sometimes we may be looking at, a, at something in a way that doesn't serve our greatest good, that doesn't serve what we really want our life to look like or be, and therefore we're kind of wasting time, energy, and effort towards things that aren't necessarily going to pay off in the way that we would prefer. Find what drives us and understand that drive is important. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean we have to be driven in all moments, but every action we take should be taken with the idea in mind that eventually we're going to care about how it drives us forward and how we are maximally benefiting from the time the energy or the effort we're putting into something. If you're not getting a return on your invest investment, it is at least in part because your drive <coughs> is out of balance within itself. Sorry about that. My throat decided to close off there. Is out of balance with yourself. And ultimately, finding that personal balance is one of the most important things that you can do for your own edification. Getting your life to a place where every action you take is reactive to where you want to be, not reactive to the stimulus of what other people are thinking, feeling, or saying 
is important. As long as you are bringing no harm to others, then you are living in a life that can benefit the planet. So continue to do that wherever you can. And ultimately, we will be back with more right after this.